Steering clear of preposition pitfalls. Hello language enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting English lesson. Today, we are going to talk about a particularly tricky part of English grammar, prepositions. Specifically, we're going to focus on common mistakes made in the use of prepositions and how you can avoid them. Before we dive into the common errors, let's briefly touch upon what prepositions are. Prepositions are words that link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. They describe relationships between different parts of the sentence. They can indicate time, like, before, after, place, like, at, in, direction, like, to, from, and many other relationships. Now let's get into the meat of our lesson today. Here are some of the most common mistakes made in preposition usage. Mistake 1. Incorrect prepositions with certain verbs. Some English verbs require specific prepositions. For example, people often say, listen at, when it should be, listen to. Correct usage. I like to listen to music, not listen at music. Mistake 2. Omitting prepositions where needed. Sometimes, prepositions get dropped even when they are necessary. For instance, you might hear someone say, I will go store, instead of the correct, I will go to the store. Remember, we go to places, not go places. Mistake 3. Adding extra prepositions where not needed. On the flip side, sometimes extra prepositions sneak in where they don't belong. For example, where are you at? Should really be, where are you? The preposition at is unnecessary in this context. Mistake 4. Preposition misuse in phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, which are combinations of verbs and prepositions, can also be a source of confusion. An example is using, run up, increase rapidly, instead of, run out, consume all. Correct usage. We ran out of sugar, not ran up of sugar. Here are a few tips to help you avoid preposition mistakes. 1. Learn prepositions as part of phrases. This will help you remember the correct prepositions to use with specific verbs or adjectives. 2. Read and listen to English as much as possible. Exposure to correct usage in different contexts can reinforce your understanding. 3. Practice, practice, practice. Use prepositions in your own speaking and writing. Mistakes are part of learning. The more you practice, the fewer mistakes you'll make. And that wraps up our lesson on common preposition mistakes. Remember, everyone makes mistakes when learning a new language, and that's okay. The key is to learn from these mistakes and keep practicing. Thanks for joining today's lesson. Keep exploring, keep learning, and I'll see you in our next video.